Fires that start in homeless camps are a serious safety threat. Some have been as small as a garbage fire, while others have spread to homes. Yeah, and Haley Rush with the Fox 12 investigators has been tracking the number of these fires in Portland. Numbers from an open records request show Portland Fire has responded to more than a thousand fires starting at homeless camps in the last two years, and it's not uncommon for them to respond to several a day. From trash to vehicles and even homes, these are some of the recent homeless-related fires in Portland, according to data from Portland Fire and Rescue. Our call volume does have an increased uh, amount that is the result um, of some kind of um, emergency or crisis that is happening with our homeless population. That is, that's a fact of life. Um, and um, we've just really come to understand this is part of our job now. The Fox 12 investigators requested data for fires started in homeless encampments from July 2017 to July 2019. It showed Portland Fire and Rescue has responded to more than 1,000 fires in those two years. It also showed they're usually responding to these fires several times a day. Take May 29th of this year. Data shows Portland Fire responded to 10 fires at homeless camps. During our, our summer months, we know that fires that we're going to deal with oftentimes involve how dry the brush and, and trees are. And that's especially concerning to us because those fires that start maybe from a cooking fire of some sort that's outdoors, that can cause a much larger fire that could threaten many more homes. We know during the winter months, oftentimes uh, the fires we're dealing with are people just trying to keep warm. And that's certainly something that we have compassion to. Back in July, a homeless camp caught fire near Southeast 96th Avenue and Steel Street. It spread across the street to a home, burning part of the roof. Something within the camp um, exploded. Joanna Hart Vixen lives next door to the home that caught fire. Mostly we were just concerned about our neighbors. Uh, they are a retired elderly couple and uh, we were of course concerned about them. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Obviously there's significant damage to their home, um, but it could have been much worse. As for how often Portland Fire responds to calls like this one, Hart Vixen says she's not surprised. It's not the first uh, homeless fire that I've seen um, in our area even. We asked Portland Fire and Rescue if they're alarmed by the amount of these fires or see it as a problem. We were told this. At the end of the day, this is a part of our population, so I'm not really sure it would be fair to say that there is, a, you know, an abnormal amount of fires that are happening because of that, because ultimately this is part of our population and we know that, that fires happen when we're cooking or when we're trying to keep ourselves warm or any of that stuff. At the beginning of this year, Portland Fire started designating every fire on a report as either homeless or not homeless. I'm told they did this so they can know exactly how many of their calls are homeless related. So in return, they can look at trends and then educate people on how to stay warm and cook food without causing fires. Portland Fire tells me their highest call volume, without a doubt, is still medical calls. Reporting in studio, Haley Rush, Fox 12 Oregon.